If you love God, prove it. Maybe for the last three or four days, my sleep has been getting interrupted. I believe it is demonic. Today, I woke up really, really sore. And I had to do some yard work too. So I was sleepy in pain, I think tired, and it was hot outside too. There was a person that was asking me question after question after question and I was getting annoyed. Why? I think it was because I was feeling bad and I did not want to be bothered with those questions. What that person was doing was not wrong. That person did nothing wrong. But since I was feeling bad, I did not want to be bothered with that person's questions. Now, if that person was to question me now, maybe it would be okay. But at that time period, no. Now, I believe I was, hmm, I believe my patience was be, being tested. I think that. So I was trying to respond to that person in a kind, soft toned way. So really monitoring <laughs> my feelings and my attitude. So I was annoyed, but I don't think I showed any bad attitude. I don't think so. Now, what if I would have shown a bad attitude? I guess that person, maybe that person would think, hey, what is Kevin's problem? Or maybe that person would think Kevin is being mean today. Listen, you may know a person that seems rude. Okay. You may know a person that seems to have a bad attitude. You may know a person that seems to like starting conflicts. That person or those people may be feeling bad or they may be in pain. For instance, there was a person that sent me emails, maybe, mm, I don't know, 
maybe three weeks ago. So let me summarize that person's emails. Something bad happened to me in the past. Because of it, I have to act in a bad way to protect myself. Yes, I know it is wrong, but I have to do it. So that person believes he or she have to do wrong to protect him or herself. So I guess you can say that person is acting that way because of what? Past pain. So I guess that person is still feeling bad, yes, still feeling bad because of something that happened to him or her in the past. We have to be patient and humble. Do we know everything that happens to every person? I don't think so. So, is it right for us to say that person is crazy, that person is stupid, that person is this, that person is that, that person is whatever? I don't think we know everything that happens to a person. That person may still be in pain. So I believe it makes more sense to be more understanding, to be more patient. I guess in some cases, I am not saying that you have to talk with that person every single day. I am not saying that you have to bring that person over to your home for tea. I am not saying that. What I am saying, we have to be patient, humble, and understanding. Because if a person is acting abnormal, I guess that is one way to see that something is going on with that person. So saying that person is crazy, <coughs> no, something deeper, I believe something deeper is wrong. Make sure you are showing love to other people. God bless you.